Welcome to my channel everyone. Today's video I'm going to do a quick product review a brand new release by Atherin. This is an Atherin Genesis SD70 and this is an Illinois Central paint and we're going to do an unboxing and a quick test of the function so stick around and see what we got going on. Before I get too in depth into the unboxing I just want to point something out and I did notice this. So if you notice right here the uh, Atherin misspelled Illinois. What's ironic is Atherin released uh, a run of SD70s with in the Illinois Central Black scheme back in June of 2016, and I got one of those back in 2016 when they were released, and uh, they misspelled, misspelled Illinois on that packaging as well. So just FYI, anybody from Atherin, if you're watching, uh, get your spell check working, guys. Okay, just through the uh, magic of editing videos, um, I'm gonna run through the function tests and everything before I do the unboxing. Most people wanna see the train running anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and run it now. And then once I get through the, uh, the sound test and everything, then we'll go back and do the unboxing for you. So just a little bit of a treat for you. So we're getting close to Halloween. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply track power. As soon as I apply track power, this should initiate the start, startup sequence. I'm gonna go ahead and mute it. If you've watched any of my videos, I say this every single time, Atherin has these things cranked so loud. So I'm gonna to have to adjust the sound here, but what I'm gonna to do to make this a little bit more tolerable for everyone, I'm gonna unmute it and I'm gonna go ahead and apply F9 immediately, which is basically a half volume for, for this locomotive. So I'm gonna go ahead and unmute it. And then F9 is applied, so this is um, half volume. So I'm just going to do a quick run through of the functions. F0 is a headlight. F1 is the bell. F2 is the horn. F3 is short horn. F4 is dynamic brake or straight to idle. This model does not have dynamic brakes. F5 should be the front ditch lights. F6 is another lighting effect, uh, but this one doesn't have like a strobe or a uh, rear ditch light, so F6 is unassigned. F7 is mute. F8 is, oh, I'm sorry, F7 is dim. F8 is mute. F9 is half volume. F10 is going to be straight to 8, so it's going to uh, go ahead and throttle it up to notch 8. F11 is brake set release. So if you, the brakes don't come um, default program, so we'll have to do that later. F12 is brake select. F13 is couple. F14 is half speed or momentum overdrive. F15 is the hand brake. F16 is the HEP mode. F17 is fuel loading.
F-18 is just a service sequence. I'll run it for a few seconds. F-19 is straight to idle, so it's already idling, so that's not going to work here. F-20 is a steam generator. F-21 and 22 are not assigned. F-23 is all aboard. F-24 and 25 are auxiliary lighting. This one doesn't have it. F-26 is notch up. F-27 is notch down. So that is a review of the functions on this locomotive. It's a little unusual. It's a little jerky out of the box. And I'm assuming it just needs to be run a little bit. So that's speed step two, three, four, five, six. So this really is a beautiful locomotive. Uh, it's a little choppy I, and it, obviously it's brand new so it hasn't been run through its paces yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the unboxing part of the video. And then after the unboxing, we'll do a quick analysis of this, reset the program or, or re, I'm sorry, reset the decoder to um, the four digit locomotive address of 1002 and we'll adjust some of the other CVs, some of the sound, because it is loud and I've got a small train room, so it's uh, borderline annoying to have it quite that loud. So let's go ahead and proceed with the unboxing. So as we do the unboxing here, I'm just gonna talk briefly about the prototype. So uh, this locomotive, it, you know, it, it's a little sentimental for me as a, as a Illinois Central modeler. There we go. This was, the purchase of these SD70s was the last uh, order of locomotives that the Illinois Central purchased before uh, they merged with Canadian National. So they placed these orders in the early 1990s, 1992, I believe, and they took delivery um, in se for several years after that. What's interesting about this particular locomotive is, this is not the as-delivered scheme. Uh, the as-delivered had a white conspicuity marking on them. This particular model has a yellow conspicuity mark, and this was actually added uh, for safety, I think around 2005, 2006. It was after the merger with Canadian National. So, uh, so this is not an as-delivered SD70. This is a, 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 an iteration, which is probably about 10 years after the originals were delivered to the Illinois Central. 
So the SD70, a lot of people would argue, is probably the most popular EMD locomotive ever produced. Uh, they started produ production of these models again in the early 1990s, around 1992. And versions of the SD70s are still being produced today, even though EMD is no longer a part of General Motors, the SD70 is still being produced uh, under the Caterpillar corporate logo or corporate so initial reaction out of the box this is again another spectacular locomotive um, I am particularly fond of the SD70s these were pretty revolutionary as EMD continued to produce them in various versions the SD70Ms, SD70Is, the Aces, the Max um, this was a, you know, this is a locomotive that's been being produced for better part, part of 30 years. High horsepower. Um, these particular locomotives, when they came out, had roughly 4,000 horsepower, which, you know, is double a lot of the horsepower they were getting out of the EMD 567s on some of the first generation four axle diesels that uh, Illinois Central started with. So again, just some of the spotting features. Um, obviously, you have the uh, MU hoses, cut levers, platform mounted ditch lights, which are correct. You see up here they've mounted uh, air conditioning on it. This was uh, not as delivered. You can see it there, Sinclair antenna. Just move the locomotive here a little bit. HTC trucks. Prototypically correct for road number 1002, five chime, Nathan P5 air horn. Just a lot of great details on this locomotive. You can see the um, sanding hoses down below. A lot of the markings. Again, the yellow conspicuity marking, which is a modification from the as-delivered version. Get a look at the rear of the locomotive. Uh, again, no rear-mounted ditch lights. That's prototypically correct. You can see a lot of the handrails and the stanchions have been painted white for safety. MU hoses, extra knuckles for the couplers in case they break. Wheel brake. Do a quick slow pass here. So, turbocharger exhaust, radiator fans, the radiator louvers. All prototypically correct based upon the research that I did of this locomotive. A couple upgrades uh, of this locomotive compared to the version that Atherin released in 2016. This locomotive has a Atherin, or a, I'm sorry, a, a Soundtrack Tsunami 2 decoder in it. The previous version had a Tsunami 1, and then Atherin did upgrade. These are rubber MU hoses instead of plastic. The, LED, or the ditch lights and the front and rear headlights are LEDs instead of the in incandescent bulbs. So I'm going to grab my original SD70 and just do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. So the 2016 release is on your right, number 1021. The 2020 release is on your left. Again, you can see the conspicuity markings are yellow. Um, addition of the, uh, the air conditioning unit to the, to the hood. But all the other tooling is actually the same. Ather did not update the tooling on these locomotives. So um, tooling's the same other than the decoder upgrade and the LED upgrade and the MU hoses. It appears as everything else is pretty similar on these two particular locomotives. And again, here's just a little bit of a different view of both these locomotives. So. Um, you know, again, I know if, you've, if you're a fan of my channel or you subscribe to my channel, you know that I don't really do a whole lot of the 1990s in Illinois Central. I'm more of late 70s, early 80s with the orange and white, with a lot of the first generation and the rebuilds of the, of the EMDs. But I wouldn't pass up an opportunity to get a nice Atherin Genesis SD70 in Illinois Central. So let's go ahead and uh, fire this up and run it through a uh, test and we'll, we'll take a look at the decoder real quick too and it will end the video. Okay, so you can see I've got my JMRI up and running. 
this is a brand new loco, so I'm going to go ahead and hit new loco. And I'm going to read type from decoder. So it's on my programming track on my test layout. So it takes it a few seconds here. You can see that it's reading the CVs. It's going to give me a list, so I know this is a Tsunami 2. And this is... Scroll up here. We have a whole bunch of choices. So here is Tsunami 2 OEM diesels. So I'm going to be interested in seeing here should have an SD70 option, hopefully. So we don't we don't have a straight SD70. We do have an SD70M with ditch lights. We'll go ahead and select this, and we're going to type in roster ID, which is 1002. That's the uh, locomotive. I'm going to go ahead and reprogram it right now to four-digit address, oops, 1002, which is the road number of this locomotive. So we're going to go ahead and, whoops, I hit the wrong button. I wanted to write instead of read, so I have to do that one more time. 1002, we're going to write. Now we're going to save it. And we're going to click on Open Comprehensive Programmer. Okay, so it comes up with a roster entry. I'm just going to fill these in real quick. Road name, Illinois Central. Road number 1002. Manufacturer, Athern. Model SD70. We'll leave the rest of that. So we'll go ahead and save this to roster. First thing we're going to look at is the basic tab. You can see that we already have it program for the long address. Here is our motor and we can change uh, CV3 and 4 which is the acceleration and deceleration. We're not going to do any of that right now. Basic speed control, speed table gives us the option to use a speed table if we want to. We can deal with that later. Here's our function map and one thing I always like to do and I'm not sure why Atherin does this but cab chatter is assigned F7, which is also the same as dimming. So every time you dim, you can hear a little bit of cab chatter. So I'm just going to go ahead and disable. And I'm going to write that change on the sheet. But as at this point, I'm going to leave all the other functions as they are. Lights I'm not going to mess with at this point. Analog controls, this is only if you're going to use this on a DC layout, so I'm going to skip that. Here is some advanced consisting, I'm going to skip that. Here is um, some advanced settings, so you, you can do your CV lock enable, change your brakes, independent brake, train brake. We're not going to mess with any of that right now. Our sound levels, one of the things I'm going to change here is engine auto start enable. I'm going to disable this only because when track power is applied locomotive automatically goes through a startup and if you're not going to use the locomotive then you have to select it, mute it, etc. So I usually just uh, disable this. So I'm going to go ahead and write this. Here we go, sound levels. We're going to back this way down to about 120. I'm going to change the air horn to down to about 100. A lot of the rest of this I'm just going to leave as is. So we can go ahead and write these changes real quick. CVs again. There's not any I'm going to change at this point. I'm just getting this set up and ready to go here. Here's just some alternative sounds. You can mess with your air compressor, dynamic brakes if you have a dynamic brake equipped. Here's your equalizer, your digital um, dynamic digital exhaust, reverb, whoops, missed one, the automatic sound control, legacy function map, and then the locomotive ID. So 
That in a nutshell is uh, the CVs we're going to change at this point. So we've reduced the sound and we've also programmed this to the four digit long address. So that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and the testing of this brand new Athern SD70. Stay tuned on my channel within the next week or so. I'm going to do an operating session. I got several of my 1990s Illinois Central locomotives out and some of my 90s Illinois Central rolling stock. So we'll do a, um, a, a operating session in more of the 1990s and uh, stick around. I hope you enjoy it. So thanks for watching.